Welcome to Movies Outpost. Today I will be introducing a mystery, thriller film from 2009 called Exam. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. The film begins with eight candidates, who are competing for a top job at a mysterious company, being gathered in a windowless room with two rows of desks. They have already passed undisclosed requirements for the job not mentioned in the film. Each candidate chooses a seat, and on their desk is a piece of paper that labels them as candidate 1, candidate 2, and so on. The invigilator arrives and explains the rules for the test, which consists of answering a single question and has only one correct answer. The invigilator also mentions that inside the room, the candidates must follow the company's rules and are not allowed to communicate with him or the guard, damage their papers, or leave the room for any reason. If they break any of these rules, they will be disqualified. The invigilator asks the candidates if they have any questions and starts the clock at 80 minutes before leaving the room. Once the invigilator leaves, the candidates turn over their papers and find that there is nothing written on the back. Confused, one of the candidates starts writing, I believe I deserve, but the guard immediately disqualifies her for writing on her paper. A young white man begins speaking and suggests that the group works together to find the question, arguing that the answer can't be simple for such an elite job and that teamwork is necessary. He also insults the other candidates based on their physical appearance, and tells them their names as black, white, brown, blonde, brunette, dark, and deaf. The white man then realizes that the invigilator did not forbid them from doing anything other than what he specifically mentioned, and stands up. He realizes that the guard only reacts when the rules are broken, so they conclude that any actions not explicitly prohibited by the invigilator are allowed. At first, the candidates try to find a hidden message on their papers by holding them up to a light, but this doesn't reveal anything. When they break the lights in the room, emergency lights turn on. They also find that breaking the emergency tubes reveals infrared light, but this still doesn't help them see anything on the papers. They also realize that neither candidate will be disqualified if one spoils the other's paper. Dark suggests that they are missing something obvious, but White dismisses her idea. They then try licking the papers and White even urinates on his, but they still find nothing. White begins to pick on Deaf, who only speaks French, and who appears to be experiencing a mental or nervous disorder. Deaf suggests that they look at the papers while he tries to rearrange some small pieces of glass on top of them. It is eventually discovered that Brown is a professional gambler, and he proposes that this is all a game, with the board of directors hidden on the other side of the wall betting on who will win. Dark is a psychoanalyst who seems to have some information about the company that the candidates are competing to join, including its products, expansion, and more. Despite doing research, the other candidates were unable to find any information on the company. Dark tells them that the company they applied to is unique in that its worst job position is still better than the best job position in the world. The company expanded during some kind of pandemic outbreak, and developed suppressants for the infection. The CEO of this company is one of the most influential people in the world. White takes charge of the group as a de facto leader. Burnett discovers that they can touch the guard as long as they don't talk to him, and finds a lighter in one of his pockets. She wants to set off the fire alarm in the hope that it will produce something other than water, revealing a photograph with the question. She tries to reach the sprinkler by standing on a table, but still can't reach it. White offers her a paper to burn, but after she succeeds in activating the alarm, she discovers that White gave her her own paper and therefore she is disqualified. Black becomes angry with White and threatens to punch him. The room then goes dark, and Brown says lights up to turn the lights back on, revealing that the room is voice activated. White bullies Deaf into tearing up and eating his paper. After following White's instructions, Deaf crawls away and the guard removes him from the room, dropping his glasses inside. White deceived the group by saying they could collaborate until they guessed the answer, but after tricking Brunette into being disqualified, the other candidates begin to mistrust each other. As the tension between the candidates grows, Black punches White, knocking him out, and ties him to a chair with the help of Brown. White then starts convulsing and is unable to find his medication, which he needs to take every hour. The other candidates realize that White is infected. Dark suggests that White might be a spy for the company, and Brown points out that Dark seems to know a lot about the company, leading everyone to suspect that she is the spy within the group and working for the company. They decide to try to get the answer to the question by torturing her. As Brown is about to cut her with a piece of paper, they discover that she is actually an employee of the company. But she works in HR and she doesn't know anything. Brown then threatening to cut out her eye. Despite the torture, Dark continues to insist that she doesn't know anything, and Brown eventually believes her. While the others are trying to decide how to help White, who is getting worse, Dark discovers that Brown stole White's pill and stuck it under his desk with a piece of gum. Brown still refuses to give White the medication and slaps it out of Dark's hand, causing it to fall through a water drain. 
Dark pleads with the blank screen for White's life and is therefore disqualified. Blonde retrieves the pill with her hair clip and forces it into White's mouth, causing him to recover almost immediately. The group then frees White, who points out that there are only four candidates left and that the clock is running low. White believes that only one of them can win, and he and Black begin arguing and racing to get the guard's gun. After beating White to the wall, Black takes possession of the gun and, after being provoked, goes to shoot White, but they discover that the gun didn't actually fire. They start fighting, and White stabs Black with a pencil and takes the gun. He tries to shoot Black, but the gun doesn't fire again. White realizes that only the guard can shoot the gun and puts it in the guard's hand. He then threatens the other candidates, saying they must leave or be killed. Brown values his life and leaves, and Blonde leaves and shouts lights out to allow Black to win. In the darkness, White kills Black. Blonde hasn't fully left the room, with one of her feet remaining partially inside. White sees this and tries to shoot her, but the clock starts blaring, signaling that the time has run out. White shouts that he has won to the other side of the wall, but the guard puts his hand on White's shoulder and shows him that there is still time left. White loses the test because Def had adjusted the clock so that the 80-minute time slot has not yet expired. White tries to shoot himself, but he fails because, as previously mentioned, the gun will only work in the guard's hands. The glass wall turns on, and White sees the silhouette of the invigilator, looking crushed and realizing that it has all been futile. The guard disqualifies White by leading him out. Blonde fully enters the room again and picks up her paper. She fumbles with the pieces of glass in Def's glasses and reads question 1 written on the paper's watermark in tiny print. She offers the paper to Def, who returns to the room, and she says no, answering the question are there any questions. She is offered the job and is told that Def is the CEO of the company. Def is a troubled but genius scientist who has discovered a pill that can heal wounds incredibly fast. Blonde says that she will not accept the job, and when the invigilator asks why she went through all of the trouble if she didn't want the position, she points to Black lying on the floor and says it's unacceptable. The invigilator asks who told you that he's dead? And when Blonde approaches Black and sees that the bullet wound is almost healed, the invigilator explains that they put the fast healing pill inside the bullet. They own the formula for the medicine, which also healed Black's illness, but it can only be manufactured in minimal quantities. The new director needed to have sympathy as well as ambition, intelligence, drive, and hard work, and Blonde accepts the job right away. Thank you for watching and have a great day.